Welcome to Q&A Software, the GST compliance accounting software for your company. In this video, I will introduce a new feature in Q&A Optimum called Batch Number. Please note that this is an additional module and charges may apply. The Batch Number is a number assigned to a group of products for which are common with specific properties. There is a one-to-many relationship as many products can have the same lot ID or batch ID. Batch numbers typically provides additional functionality for tracking manufactured date, expiry date, and other more detailed information. For example, a food company could make 1,000 bottles of ketchup in an 8-hour shift. Each bottle would be labeled with the same lot ID or batch ID used to track the manufacturing date or expiry date. Industries that normally uses batch numbers are paint, wallpapers, pharmaceutical products. Serial number is a normal numbering to uniquely identify every single piece of product. Example, in mobile industry, every mobile has a unique IMA number that can be thought of as serial number. Given a serial number, you can pinpoint the particular piece of product. This module enables users to key in the batch number of stock items and subsequently users will be able to know which batches are still available in the stock balance. Additionally, users will also be able to know which batches are approaching their expiry date and considered unsaleable items. This module affects sales, purchase, and stock module. To enable the module, go to the file menu and select module. In the module manager, check the batch number module and click save and close. Now let's go to the stock item maintenance. You will see a new tab below called batch number. To key in the batch number for this item, we will have to click on the use batch number checkbox. Here you will see that there is another checkbox called use default unsaleable period. To define default unsaleable period, we have to go to the batch number settings in the stocks module. We can key in the number of months here. We can also enable compulsory select batch number option here. This will ensure that for every transaction, a batch number must be selected. Our system will prompt us an error message not allowing to save the transaction. The checkbox here is compulsory enter expiry date. This will ensure that for every batch number keyed in, the expiry date must be first defined. Our system will prompt an error message not allowing us to save. And same goes for the compulsory enter manufacturing date option. Now let's try to key in another batch number for this stock item. Click on the new icon and then key in the details here. If I did not key in the expiry date, system will prompt the error message and not allow me to save. Now let's try to key in a purchase invoice with batch number. At the batch number column, click on the drop down arrow and select the related batch number. Then click on Save. To check the batch number balance details, go to View, Reports, Stock Reports, Batch Number, Batch Number Balance Details. Then instead of using the 6 month default unsaleable period, I adjust it to 1 month. This report has many filters that users can use it to filter the search results. Then click on Inquiry, and here is the result. Earlier on, we have set the expiry date of this batch at 15th of August 2016 and the unsaleable period of one month. Now, we are previewing as of 10th of June 2016. It means that on the 10th of June 2016 plus one month, it will be 10th of July 2016, which is still earlier than the expiry date, therefore not considered as outdated yet. If we change the unsaleable period to 3 months and preview again, 
This batch will be outdated because 10th of June 2016 plus 3 months will be 10th of September 2016 and it is past the expiry date. Hence, this batch will be outdated. Thank you for watching.